How's it going everybody and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. So we are dealing with a landed UFO which has fielded us our first frightful sectopod. We are still hearing a cyber disc somewhere out there and of course the sectoid commanders that are leading this thing. We've also taken out a couple groups of heavy floaters and a couple of groups of chrysalids, of all things. So now we are continuing forward looking for the remaining enemy units. Going to proceed with caution. Phantom running up the middle while the others ascend the side. Before we're seeing a gradual oh progression boy. in the Lead development mutants. of the alien subjects. That heavy armor looks to be near impenetrable. As if the first mutons weren't bad enough. Now they're covering them in armor plating. Let's get back here to full cover. Where is Carlos Carlos? Can you reach? You can reach one of them. But we would have to move Captain K first. So I'll stash you up here for next round. Captain K. You're going to fall back here. Jammin' dude. The off chance they come this way, you are going to overwatch. Drachnon, you move up, hunker down. Let's see what our first elite mutons do. I'd love to stun one of these if possible. That was unexpected. Well, let's see if. Crap, reaction shot. I'm on the line. Missed. Okay, Carlos Carlos. Can't quite get to him. you up here. CHS Phantom. Put you in this corner. Great, now the other one gets a reaction shot. Right. He missed as well, thank god. Okay, Captain K. Of 
definitely got to be careful how we attempt to play with these guys. That is where we want jamming, dude. Weedle Puff. I want you in the fight, but not without full cover. This is a risky move. Look sharp. Enemies rolling oh, out. I knew it. It's in the cards, this mission. Forty-five percent chance only on each of them. You know what? Let's have Carlos Carlos go first. With his rocket. He can nail both of them for sure from here. And it will destroy their cover. for lightning reflexes. You got one flanked. Take the flanker out. Jamming dude. Only 45% chance to take the shot. Don't miss. Two elite mutants down. Nice, everybody. Okay, I think we are mostly done here. I think it's pretty much just the final two. Get out of this mission.
was scary. I thought I had misclicked for a second there. Sectoid commanders. They're trying to flank us. Dragon. Oh. Takes one. Nailed him. Give the other we love. Nailed him. Another day, another successful operation. Nineteen enemies down, including our first elite mutons and our first sectopod. Overall, a fairly nasty little piece of work of a mission. to chance, and it paid off. Excellent work, Commander. And Drachnon and Captain K both earned promotions to Captain. Captain K... Definitely close combat specialist. Autopsies we can do. Now that we are in control of the hyperwave beacon, the real question is what is it going to tell us? Perhaps we should try scanning for UFO activity in the meantime. Muton Elite. As if the standard muton hadn't given us enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept several of these elites in waiting for the later stages of their invasion. As if the standard mutant hadn't given our tro troops enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept several of these elites in waiting for their later stages of the air invasion. Although they seem to have the distinct honor of serving as guards within the alien hierarchy, our autopsy of this specimen reveals little in the way of distinguishing anatomical traits versus the typical muton. Aside from various improvements to their armor, the primary difference appears to be a slightly enhanced intelligence, which makes them more effective combatants. The details surrounding this creature's specific combat capabilities should be available during future encounters by targeting one in the unit analysis view. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. Although this robot is neither alive nor sentient, it is strangely self-aware of its surroundings. We're still uncovering the functional details for this species, but from what we've seen so far, this machine is a masterpiece of technology. Based on our initial testing, we've discovered an extremely intricate program that's implanted with their microprocessors. This combat control program, combined with the sectopod's imposing 10-meter frame, makes for an extremely dangerous weapon. Powered by the same energy source that fuels the alien craft, these machines wield unparalleled destructive power. 
Perhaps the biggest mystery is the secret of how they're being controlled. Additional information regarding the specimen's tactical abilities may be available in the field if another of these machines is targeted in the unit analysis view. The advanced fabrication processes that the aliens used to build the sectopod could be repurposed to accelerate XCOM's vehicle and facility construction, at a significant cost, of course. Let's go ahead and research plasma pistols. Transfer Ship complete. transfers are done. Ravens, one by one. pistol is complete. Our research into the alien's plasma-based weaponry is among the most advanced and dangerous work we've undertaken so far. The most difficult question surrounding the use of plasma, how to maintain an adequate power supply in the field, was solved by the Illyrium-based power cells recovered from the aliens. The heat sinks developed using their materials have also proven to be the answer to proper heat dissipation among the weapon's barrel. With this knowledge in hand, we should now be able to use any plasma pistols we've captured from the invaders, as well as begin manufacturing variants of our own design. By discharging a lethal shot of ionized gas in an artificially generated magnetic field, this weapon performs far beyond the capabilities of any projectile-based sidearm. That's our last piece of research, I believe, for a while. Until we can do some big things. Whoa! But finally, for the first time in the game, I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade some sidearms. Let's go ahead. We're going to build a second map blaster launcher. We're going to build more armor. And we'll wait on that. Another round of side testing about to end. And we've got a terror attack. Time to pull a new team together. I keep forgetting to use their Psy abilities. Jammin' Dude will be replaced with Vexadon for the win. I've got to start using him just to train them better. CHS Phantom is still the only support I have available. So he will stay. Draknon. He's going to tag out. And we will bring. Hmm, both H. Kalari and Flaming Skull are already in. Well. I know I just took him out, but I'm gonna put Jammin' Dude back. No. I'm gonna put Drachnon back in. I 
I know that might seem silly, but I don't want to bring two Colonel Snipers, because he needs rank. Carlos Carlos is going to tag out for Seamus Sanchez. The only thing he doesn't have to unequip is his blaster launcher, because I now have one for her as well. Be replaced by the Bodok. And last but not least, Little Puff. I think Weedle Puff is going to stay. No. This one's going to Greg Draco. First, I have to unequip Weedle Puff. See what map we've got. We're heading and then to we're South Africa. Go ahead, for this wrap one. this episode and we up. Get down there and fast. we will engage the terror we've attack. We've got reports of alien episode. activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. A good map for this. This Squad is a fairly is open plan map. Targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. But we are going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I want to thank everybody for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like, subscribe, favorite, throw feedback into the comments below. If you wish to join XCOM, as always, you may sign up in the comments below. Just give me the name you want to use and anything you want for the customer's optimization for your character. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again next time.